a program that has been put together called Motion Portraits that are incredibly interesting portraits of people, of things. Um, and hopefully if you come back and you'll get a real good feel of what we're talking about if you see a number of these films. I know you'll come back and see them all. Um, but I am very happy um, for this wonderful film this afternoon in the dark room. Um, I want to thank uh, particularly the Consulate General of Israel who helped with the uh, transportation to bring the filmmaker in so that he could be with us here today. So um, and we are going to come back for Q&A, so please stay. But right now I'm very happy to introduce the director of In the Dark Room, Nadav Sherman. Thanks for coming. I know it's a beautiful day in Germany, actually, when there's a day like this, the cinemas are empty. <laughs> so it's nice to see a few people in the house. Uh, let me just say, I mean, usually when I go to a museum, you know, and you, when anybody goes to a museum, I guess, and you look at a painting, if you just look at the painting, you know, you get your own impression of it. But sometimes, you know, you read that little note which is next to your painting, which gives the context of what the, the artist, you know, try to try to do. And I find that when I sort of read that little note, you know, I look at the painting a bit differently. So let me give you my little note next to this film. Um, basically, we shot the film in a cinema, in an abandoned cinema, which was the only English-speaking cinema in Frankfurt for the GIs, of a lot of American GIs in Germany until recently. And um, so, you know, they had their cinema, and when the GIs left, they were going to tear down the cinema. And uh, one of my producers had a brilliant idea to rent the cinema. So Magdalena, she was a photographer, but she never actually used her skills to take photos. She just used them to fake you know, papers, passports, whatever. So the idea was to you know, build a dark room where she could develop photos and, and go back. Now, um, she was a terrorist, so she's been interrogated numerous times you know, by different police, etc., etc. So we knew it was, she was going to be a tough cookie during the you know, interview slash interrogation. So we used a, a method which was invented by a great American uh, documentary filmmaker named Errol Morris, which is it's called the Interotron. Basically what it is, it's a teleprompter, you know, like the newscasters have when they read the news, they have this teleprompter, uh, behind which there's a camera. So Magdalena was sitting in the cinema hall in a darkroom set which we had built for her, and she was sitting in front of this teleprompter on which my image was being broadcasted, and I was sitting in the projection screen facing a similar device, and then we would look at each other through the teleprompters for 10 hours per day for almost 10 days. Um, and, I mean, the effect of the Interotron is that she's going to be looking straight into your eyes. Well, not specifically into your eyes, because the film is in German, so you guys are going to be reading the subtitles, basically, which is very difficult, so be warned, you know, basically, you know, she's... She's addressing you, she's making first eye contact with a German audience, but with the subtitles, it's going to be a bit more precarious. So I hope you guys can see the film and not only read it at times. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's my little note. You know, she was a really tough cookie to crack, and sometimes it felt like an interview, sometimes like an interrogation, sometimes like a confession. And actually, the, the, the luxury of, being, of making films in Europe, which is a great you know, public funding system, is that you can make the film that you want. Um, and our ambition with this film was to make a film which is as much about what is not being said as it is about what is being said. And uh, so there's a lot going on in between the lines, so to say. Um, if you guys haven't fallen asleep, we're going to have a Q&A afterwards. <laughs> Enjoy the film. Don't fall asleep. <laughs>